Hello everyone, this is Kevin T. Rodriguez, film critic of the TheMovieWizard.com, and let's talk about Fuller House, which, despite my better judgment, I have watched. And I watched the whole thing. And no, it was not good. In fact, Fuller House is... Here's the thing, Fuller House is better than Full House. It is smarter than Fuller House. It is even better acted than Full House. That doesn't make it a good show because Full House was awful. It was awful, awful. And when I say this new show is better, I'm calling about how getting a six inch corn dog is better than getting a five inch corn dog. It's not better by much. The only reason it's even a little better is because I laughed at two of the jokes the entire 13 episodes. Both of which I want to mention were about the Olsen twins not being on the show. So, yeah, there there you go. Netflix's Fuller House is the worst kind of reboot slash sequel. It neither... It faithfully recreates the original show, which is bad because... Sorry, my hair. Uh, because the original show is so bad also fails because it doesn't even try to add anything interesting to the sequel. And of course, had it tried, that might have been completely missing the point because Full House, like, here's the thing, Full House is what we critics like to say, it is what it is. It knows what it is, it knows what it wants to be, it knows who it's targeting. It is, in a sense, critic-proof. Nothing a critic will say can make someone not like this show or like the show. It, they can't. N nothing we say can make you like the show because there's nothing to like about it. And nothing we say can make you not like the show because if you're watching it, even if it's not good, you like it for some reason. And that, that's fine. We like what we like. And most of us watching Full House... Well, well okay, most of us watched Full House when we were kids. And Full House was a kid's show. It always was. It always will be. This new show is a kid's show. Um, and the thing about being kids, we're not very discerning with our entertainment. I mean, we liked Barney the Dinosaur at one point in our lives. Do we watch it now? No. However, in a strange state of being... Shows that we watched when we were kids, that we would never actually watch as an adult, we're happy to see sequels. I mean, Fuller House is a kid show. It's even rated TVG, even if the Parents Television co Council, I think that's what they're called, says it's edgy. It's not. It is no more edgy than the original show. And that is to say, not very much. So, here's the thing. Fuller House is bad. It's dumb. It's not worth your time. But here's the thing. Here's why I'm making the video. Some people are actually saying on Twitter and Facebook, they're disappointed in the show. They are saying, wow, they messed it up. They took a great thing and they made it bad. No. It was... They didn't take a good thing and make it bad. They took a bad thing and made it slightly less bad. Very, very slightly less bad. Full House was never a good show. It never was. It was always dumb. The laugh track was never live. It was always canned laughter. And if you say, oh, I remember laughing so much, guess what? You were five, you were six, you were seven. You were the appropriate age at which jokes like, you know, mopping the floor with your chin was funny. You were at the age where kibbles and bits, dude, was funny. You were at the age where when Bob Saget says, or Danny Tanner, that's his character's name, I believe, says... I am a lean, mean, hugging machine, and he hugged someone four times. It was endearing. No, it wasn't. You were a kid. You didn't know what you were watching was terrible. You just knew it was cute. And again, that's fine. 
that is perfectly fine. However, if anything is kind of showing the fallacy of the reboots and the sequels thing, it's this show. Because, here's the thing, and I'm going to get a little biblical on you, so I apologize in advance. I'm not going to quote scripture, but here's the thing. Me and a lot of my friends were raised that, you know what, when you're kids, you can be kids, but eventually you have to grow up. You have to get a job. You will typically get married, and you will have kids, and then you will have responsibilities. And that that means you put away childish things, you leave them in the past, and you move on with life. You just do. Now, I put myself in this category, so I'm not just criticizing everyone else, but some, I think millennials, and I don't consider myself a millennial because I was born in 1985, but, or something like that, yeah. And the thing is, especially millennials, though, we don't want to grow up. We want to hold on to our past. We want to talk as if the new Star Wars movie being good or bad will change our lives. We like to still play Mario games, even though, guess what? The idea of jumping on turtles and collecting coins should have lost its luster a long time ago. We're at the point where we still read comics. And I'm not talking about, like, the real comics, like, uh, you know, some of the specific, like, Battle Royale or Watchmen. I'm talking about, like, you know, Batman and Superman and Spider-Man. These things are made for kids, they always have been. And the thing is, we want to take what we like for kids. We want to drag it into our adult lives. And they don't really have a place here. I I'm sorry, they don't. They, re they really don't. And I think Fuller House might have been a gift in some way to express this. Because the thing about Fuller House is... People who watch the show and say it's not as good as the original, again, the original was always bad. The difference is, you are watching something now with adult eyes. You are realizing it is awful. Because you can see it. You can see clearly now, the rain is gone. I know, that was corny, but I'm not cutting it out. And if you went back and you watched Full House, like, if you watched the first episode of Full House, and then the first episode of Fuller House, guess what? They're pretty much exactly the same thing. Like, I mean, heck, the, the first Fuller House episode is pretty much a remake of the first Full House episode. So, and if you watch the second episodes back to back, you will see, yeah, guess what? They're both bad. They're both for kids. I mean, they get a dog. Dog does stuff. You have a little kid. Like, in the uh, original Full House thing, Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen had catchphrases. I forgot what some of them were, but the catchphrase for the cute kid in this movie seems to be Cow Chalupa. Holy, holy Chalupas. That's what it is. Sorry, I'm already forgetting the show, and I just watched it. That's how bad it is. And so you are realizing for the first time that it's bad because you can see it with adult eyes. And here's the thing, folks. When the Gilmore Girls reboot comes out or sequel, you're going to realize it's just as bad. Like, you will. Um, the new X-Files series... Um, it's The X-Files was never a bad show, but it was corny. It was about aliens. The new miniseries comes up, oh, it's not as smart or edgy as it was back then. No, it wasn't that smart and edgy. You were teens or kids, and you didn't see how goofy it really was at times. It's like, Fuller House proves that America, we need to grow up. We, we need to put childish things in the past. We need to leave them in the past. There's nothing wrong with that. And you're talking to someone who has Asperger's Syndrome. So, trust me, change is difficult. It's way more difficult for me. 
Like, I... <laughs> When I go on vacation, I almost want to have a panic attack because I'm being taken from the comfort of my home. But you got to do it. So you have to leave the nest. You have to move out. You have to grow up. And I mean, and I, I want to say that there. This is, by the way, excluding things like the Muppets and Disney animated films. Which, while they are still geared for a family audience, there is an aspect that was made for the adults in mind. Full House never had that um, that element for the adults. It was always made for little kids and people who liked corny sitcoms of the 50s. Heck, the first line in the theme song is, Whatever happened to predictability? Well, if you wanted predictability, you watched Full House. If you want predictability now... You watch Fuller House. And, and my personal th opinion of the show is it's terrible. In a strange way, I am kind of rooting for it to succeed, though. Uh, and not because I want to see more sequels or reboots, because that would actually almost... I don't want that. The only reason I kind of want this to succeed is because there's... I do believe they should make shows for kids. I don't know why everything... I mean, even the family-friendly shows on ABC like Blackish and Modern Family have elements in those shows I would not want my kids to watch. And it bothers me. Full ho Fuller House is something that, for better or worse, I could let them watch. And if this succeeds, I'm hoping that we'll get more of them. Netflix has commented that they want to get into the family market, and so here's hoping that they do. Oh, and on a final note, before... I end this. I do want to take a moment to mention the supposed sexual content in Fuller House, because I've read a few articles, not many, but a couple, that stated Fuller House is not appropriate for kids. It's got a lot more sexual innuendos than the old show did. No, it's not. It does not. It is perfectly suitable for kids. And, by the way... Here's where I need to lecture even the adults out there. Maybe they're millennial parents. I don't know. It would make sense. But there is a difference between a sexual innuendo and a double entree. A double entree, or if I'm saying that correctly, is basically an adult joke in plain view that is only noticeable to the person who understands the joke. A sexual innuendo is something that's on front for everyone to see. Full House, like there, like Fuller House has like people said, oh, they have jokes about uh, Kimmy doing acid, and um, like a there's a plumber in there, or well, a plumber's supposed to come, and some guy who's coming for a blind date shows up instead, and like DJ says, let's go upstairs. I need to fix my plumbing. And I'd like to start in the toilet. And the guy's kind of like, oh, well, you move fast, don't you? Kids won't get it. They will not. Because since kids should ideally not know what the innuendo would be, as far as they're concerned, she's just asking them to fix the plumbing. And if you want an example of why jokes like this were in Full House, I remember one in particular. And the only reason I remember this one is not because it was funny, but because it was the first time I had to ask my parents, what's that mean? And that was when Jesse and Rebecca had just gotten married. They came home from the honeymoon, and they had a video, and he said, yep, we filmed everything about the vacation. And Rebecca says, well, everything that wasn't in the bedroom. I asked my parents what it meant. They looked at me, and they lied. They said, we don't know. And we moved on. Like, you don't have to explain everything to your kids, folks. And both of these jokes are acceptable in G-rated productions because kids don't know what they're doing. They have to be knowledgeable to get them in the first place. And when they're old enough to get them, well, honestly, I don't think they'd be watching the show at that point. But if they are old enough to get them, it's really not that big of a deal because the show is still not showing anything. It's not stating anything specific. Uh, sorry, explicitly, it is just a little hidden double entree.
like and the reason they're called double entrees is because you almost have to go like double like see if you caught what was said and what was done so yeah I, I bet and these are the same this is the same group that's complaining that the Muppets isn't suitable for families and the Muppets are suitable for families so I, I, I don't know it's like <sighs> here's the thing the bottom line if you want to see Fuller House, it's on Netflix. You can see it. There's no shame in it. And if you want to watch it with your family, that's fine. If the, there's a adult joke in there that the kids don't understand, just tell the kids you don't know what it means. Kids will move on. They're not going to fight this. Trust me. However, if you're watching this and you're saying it's not as good as it used to be, no, it's probably better than it used to be. Just keep in mind... You're an adult now, you've grown up, and sometimes you can't go back. And that's a fact of life. Anyway, what do you folks think? Have you seen the new Fuller House show? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? I'd like to know, and no judgment if you do like it. You're free to like what you want, and if you do like it, I'm glad for you, because I hate to see people wasting their time. But anyway, you can, you can comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe, and as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.